Today's video is about how to make the mesh, uh, sorry, that's a different weapon. How to make the mesh orient with the, uh, as you can see, with the weapon. So, yes, let's get into it. So the key is quite literally to, uh, is to go, as you can see here, if we turn this up, this doesn't turn, right? It doesn't spin with the, with the other weapon. This is a different weapon. So this is a different weapon because the animation is different. I'm forced to add two weapons. So this this one is linked to the this one. But as you can see, it doesn't rotate. But the second you enable initial mess orientation with the system setting and these two enabled to mesh, added, enable to mesh, uh, you will see it rotates perfectly with the weapon. As you can see, it's literally it's doing this. It's literally this. It's perfectly uh, positioned with the... Right? Let me just increase the effect so you can see what's going on. Uh, I don't know how this works, actually. <laughs> Let's see here. 75. Maybe I might do a little trick. Um, if you can see that, you know, this is so fast. Anyways, let me just add like a thousand marks. I'll go crazy here. Okay, that's too much. But anyways, all you have to do is go into the particle spawn and you want to set initial mesh orientation. Initial mesh orientation right here. Okay, you're going to get this. What you want to do is select this and select system. Okay, select mesh orientation mode and click select system. And then you want to tick these two. Okay, and then this will already be ready. So this will already be set up. As you can see, it will be perfectly set up. Whereas if you uh, turn this off, you see, it doesn't rotate. It doesn't rotate, it doesn't do anything. So. Just reset that and but if you turn this on or anyone actually <laughs> and initial mesh rotation I already have one so I'm gonna use the initial one and that's it save compile save and you will get pretty much a nice looking you will get what, what you're going for let me enable uh, let me uh, fix this Let me set the spawn rate to like 250. I was trying to go for one of those. Uh, uh, you know that game called. You know that, what that game's called? I can't remember. Um, Dante's Inferno. No, no, not that one. Shit. <laughs> The other one, like, like there's a game called something where you fly around and shoot bombs. Uh, okay, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but yeah, that that game is literally. Yeah, I, I was like, hmm, I want to add an after effect to my weapon. Let's see what that will look like. And where you have it. Now, it's following twenty four seven. So, so I'm responding a bit too many. I think we don't need that much. Let's go for 15. But when you attack, at the attack is so instant. You don't even see it. You understand? <laughs> so we, you know, I'm forced to like at like 250 or something. No, 175 is about right. And bam, that looks pretty good. That is, if I can spawn this attack just at the right time, if I can play this animation. Should work. Now what I'm doing is I'm just rendering the mesh right here, as you can see the weapon, and that's it. And with initial mesh rotation, we get that effect. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Yeah, just a little close up. There you go. There you have a working rotation system.